Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just cooking inside this cardboard box. Yeah, cooking. And going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, How does the sun make energy? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a big box, a small box, black construction paper, tin foil, cardboard, newspaper, tape, and a thermometer. Start by getting yourself a small box. Tape construction paper on all four sides of the box. Don't forget to tape construction paper to the bottom of the box as well. Remove all four flaps from the box. Hold on to these flaps, you'll need them later. Now get yourself a bigger box and put the small box inside the big box. Tear up the cardboard flaps and rip up some old newspaper. And then add this in between the big and small box until you equal the size of the box. Fold tin foil over the flap of the big box. Secure it by using some tape. Do this to all four of the flaps. Now you can get a box that has a lid and cut a hole in the lid and cover the hole. But I'm going to show how hot the temperatures can reach inside the box. So I'm going to put a layer of clear tape along the top of the box. Now use tin foil to fill in the holes between the flaps. Now take this with you outside. Head outside on a hot and sunny day and place this in your yard. Let it sit for about an hour. Now check this out. The temperature inside the box after an hour is about 80 degrees Celsius. Yet the temperature out here is only about 30 degrees Celsius. So why does the temperature get so hot inside the box? And where does the sun get its energy from? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. As the sun's light passes through the clear tape, the light gets absorbed by the black paper in the cardboard box, which releases heat. The heat gets trapped inside the box, and the ripped bits of paper and cardboard slows the loss of heat out of the box, allowing temperatures to reach 100 to 150 degrees Celsius. Earth's star forms massive amounts of heat and light through a process known as nuclear fusion. During fusion, hydrogen atoms smash into each other. These atoms are under so much pressure at the center of the star that hydrogen atoms are fused into helium atoms. The results of these explosive fusions releases heat and tiny particles of light. Sometimes these multiple explosions create so much energy they are released as solar flares, shooting radioactive material throughout the solar system. So now you know that everything on our planet gets its power from nuclear fusion. You know, cooking inside a cardboard box is why science is so cool. <laughs>